people of Western Europe. A landing was made this morning on the coast of France by troops of the Allied Expeditionary Force. This landing is part of the concerted United Nations plan for the liberation of Europe, made in conjunction with our great Russian allies. This is London. London calling in the home, overseas and European services of the BBC and through United Nations Radio Mediterranean. And this is John Snag speaking. Supreme Headquarters, Allied Expeditionary Force, have just issued communique number one, and in a few seconds I will read it to it. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. I'll repeat that communique. Communique number one. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. This is the day and this is the hour. The sky is lightening, lightening over the coast of Europe as we go in. The sky is lighter and the sea is brighter, but along the shore there's a dense smoke screen as the battleships and the warships, the smaller warships, sweep along there firing all the time against the shore and some of them laying a smoke screen for us. The sun is blazing down brightly now. It's almost like an omen, the way it suddenly come out just as we were going in. The whole sky is bright, the sea is a glittering mass of silver, with all these craft of every kind moving across it, and the great battleships in the background blazing away at the shore. There go the craft past us, the other landing craft. Some are left behind, the slower ones each taking their part and going in at the right time for their right job. Destroyers, corvettes, patrol buses. I can hear the sound of anti-aircraft fire. I can't see yet whether it's our people who are being attacked. There's an enormous cloud of smoke along the shore, not only from the smoke screen, but from, but from this terrific bombardment. All the ships are blazing away now. All around this enormous circle, there are ships Ships moving in, ships on patrol, ships circling, ships standing to and firing. We are passing close by a cruiser, a cruiser that has been taking part in the bombardment, but is now on, I imagine, a sort of general patrol. You can't imagine anything like this march of ships, like soldiers marching in line. I've never seen anything so expressive of intent. It's a purpose shared among many ships and among many hundreds of thousands of fighting men are uh, going in now to the coast of Europe to do the biggest job they've ever had to do. I can't record any more now because the time has come for me to get my kid on my back and get ready to step off on that shore. And it's a great day. <laughs> 